The FNSS Kaplan is a modern medium weight tank that was jointly developed by Turkey and Indonesia. The tank is also known as Harimau, which means tiger in Indonesian. The tank was designed to meet the operational requirements of both countries, as well as to offer a cost-effective and versatile solution for other potential customers. The development of the FNSS Kaplan began in 2015, when the governments of Turkey and Indonesia agreed to cooperate on a joint project. The project aimed to create a lightweight tank that could operate in various terrains and climates, and that could be easily transported by air, sea and land. The project also aimed to share the intellectual property rights and the production facilities between the two countries. The first prototype of the FNSS Kaplan was unveiled in 2017 at the IDF Expo in Turkey. The tank features a modular design that allows for different configurations and upgrades. The tank has a three-man crew, consisting of a commander, a gunner, and a driver. The tank is powered by a Caterpillar C13 diesel engine that provides 711 horsepower and a maximum speed of 70 km per hour. The tank has a torsion bar suspension system and a V-shaped hull that provides protection against mines and improvised explosive devices. The main armament of the FNSS Kaplan is a 105mm high-pressure rifled gun that is mounted on a Belgian-made turret developed by CMI Defense. The gun can fire various types of ammunition, including armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabo, APFSDS, high-explosive anti-tank, heat, high-explosive squash head, HESH, and canister rounds. The gun can also fire guided missiles with a range of up to 5 km. The secondary armament consists of a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun and a 12.7mm remote-controlled weapon station. The tank is equipped with advanced systems that enhance its situational awareness, survivability, and lethality. The tank has a digital fire control system, a laser rangefinder, a thermal imaging system, a panoramic sight, a driver's night vision system, an automatic target tracker, an intercom system, and a battle management system. The tank also has an active protection system that can detect and counter incoming threats with hard kill or soft kill measures. The tank has modular armor that can be tailored to different threat levels and mission profiles. The armor provides protection against kinetic energy projectiles, shape charges, rocket-propelled grenades, and small arms fire. The FNSS Kaplan has successfully passed the required qualification tests for the Indonesian Army in 2018, and was ready for mass production. The first batch of 20 to 25 tanks was expected to be ordered by late 2018, and the total number of tanks to be produced could range between 200 and 400. The FNSS Kaplan is also being marketed to other countries that are looking for a modern and affordable medium-weight tank. The FNSS Kaplan is a result of the strategic partnership between Turkey and Indonesia in the field of defense industry. 
The tank represents a new generation of armored vehicles that combine mobility, firepower, protection, and technology in a balanced way. The tank is expected to enhance the capabilities and the interoperability of both countries' armed forces, as well as to contribute to regional stability and security. Some of the competitors of the FNSS Kaplan tank are the Russian-made Sprat SDM-1, the Chinese-made VT-5 and the French-made AMX 10RC, which are light or medium-weight tanks. The advantages of the FNSS Kaplan tank are Having the highest level of mine and ballistic protection in its class. Having a high power-to-weight ratio combined with a double-pinned rail suspension system that provides the vehicle with mobility freedom during expeditionary maneuvers with advanced electronic-controlled systems. Having a high impact capability despite its low weight thanks to having a 105mm cockerel gun integrated with a CMI cockerel registered trademark symbol 3105 turret with an advanced automatic loader. The interior of the vehicle being designed carefully considering the ergonomics of the crew and tactical conditions as well as driving, firing and loading and unloading of ammunition during combat. Being a modern platform equipped with the latest technologies and superior firepower, supported by a battlefield management system and laser warning systems that provide tactical awareness to the vehicle commander.